We're going to understand input and output parameters in stored procedures. Here we have a procedure called SQL with input. This will be the third way to get information out of a stored procedure. Now I'm passing an input parameter. It's in front of the as keyword below. It's got at depno. It's an integer. The default is null. We are expecting input when we execute this procedure. Now, set no count on. It's the first statement after the as keyword. It turns off messages that SQL Server sends back to the client after any select, insert, update, even merge and delete. So it's faster. Now, if depno is not null, which means we've passed it a parameter, we are now going to have a begin and end statement and we're going to run our SQL there and it's going to give us output. We're going to select everything from the employee table where the depno equals at depno, which is our parameter we're going to pass in as input. I'm going to create this procedure. It's created. Now let's execute this in a few different ways. Let's go to Nexus and put a vertical tab here so we can see it. I'll use SQL class. You can't put the database inside a stored procedure. So we will run this from the SQL class database. It would probably be a little faster if I put the DBO in, but I don't need to. That's the schema. I execute this department number at depno will be 400. We should only see 400s in the output. And everybody here is in department 400. I'm going to change this around and put at depno. I'll even put it lowercase at depno equals 400. Now there's absolutely no doubt at depno in this case is going to be equal 300. We'll only see 300s. Then I'm going to put it to 200. That's the idea behind a stored procedure. You can just change the parameters and this is going to deliver. I'm going to show you a little trick. You can run this in your SQL, but you can also run it in your stored procedures. Whenever we do an order by and we want the data sorted, major sort in a series of minor sorts, we know how that works, but it always sorts alphabetically. We're going to show you a trick so that you can sort things the way you want them sorted. Here I just executed an SQL statement. Now I put an order by class code, but let's think about it. It says freshman, junior, sophomore, senior. When I went to high school, it was freshman, sophomore, junior, then senior. But this sort is always alphabetic. We're going to change that. We could change it right here too, but I'm going to create a stored procedure to do so. I called it students valued because this is a valued case. We select, but we order by and we case the class code. They're a freshman, they're coming first, a sophomore second, a junior third, a senior fourth, and anything else is coming after that. When I execute student valued, this comes back and says freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. We've just got another nice little trick for you here with your stored procedures. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.